Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening to everyone. Uh, if you allow me to share the screen. We have already shared the presentation through the host, if that's okay with you, Rodrigo. Well, um, I make a little changes. I would like, if it's possible, to share the screen. Uh, Flint, can you please allow Rodrigo yeah. to see the, the presentation in this case? Thank you. Yes, go ahead. Thank you. So yes, this is the Department of Cash Foundation that we call Health Div uh, Division, that all the students of Cash Foundation were working on this. We're all working together to bring something different to humanity. So I'm gonna talk about what we're doing to understand a little bit about this new way of uh, bringing health to people. The way we see the whole picture, the whole, um, for all the people who have diseases, we put in, in, in this kind of a division. We see the people, uh, all the diseases, working on the physicality, the energy, emotions, and the soul. And uh, the, the physical level, all doctors have been working on that level. As myself, I've been uh, practicing the medicine for 30 years. I'm not saying that you're wrong. I know the whole humanity is very grateful for the job that you have done. But remember, when you decide to become a doctor, the intention that you have to bring to help people. So now, I invite you to see a different level of manage people with problems. It's a new way of change. As I said, just open your mind to different things, to new, to new way of helping people. The first things to, to understand this technology is we have to learn or to understand how the body is, uh, works, or how the body is made up. So we have 25 elements. But most importantly, the, we have 96% of the body is made of carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, and hydrogen, and only 4% of the rest of the elements. So if we understand that we are made of, we, of these elements, we, we, if we handle these elements, we can make any change in the body. So as I said, open your mind to a new way of bring health to people. Where those elements come from? Those elements come from, this, from that, that light that we see outside in the beautiful day, they call it the sun. We are not going to details to describe that, but it's that we, we have learned that we cannot live without the sun. And the only thing though, the little thing that we used to uh, uh, understand or know about that, that we need the sun to help us to synthesize the vitamin D and to protect, to make, uh, to have uh, some kind of protection in, the, in our body against diseases. But actually what we have from the sun is this main elements, carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, and nitrogen. We receive constantly, every single day, those elements from the sunlight. Life on earth is made of these elements. Every single life entity, animals, plants, us, we have those elements. But the problem now is that we have so much pollution that also we receive those, those elements 
on the body and it creates imbalance. So as I said, the way we, un we handle or we manage the body is first the, the physicality and then understand the energy field that we have around the body. Something that as a doctors, we don't address this or we don't understand what's, what's happening. There's a lot of technology that proves that we have that field energy around us. Call them any way you want, aura, chakras, energy, whatever. This proves that we have that energy field around us. A lot of techniques like uh, photos, they have shown that we have that. And that field changes according to the condition of the body, the emotions of the body, it changes. So if somebody has diseases, the energy field changes. I'm not saying that we have to learn how those energy change of the colors. No, just to prove that we have that energy field around us and for the reason. Science has proven that every single element in the world has energy. Even the rock, they proved the rocks have energy flowers, everything, even us, we have energy. It means every single cell on the body has energy, a gravitational and magnetic field, there's energy. Every organ is a unique energy. The whole body becomes a whole unit and it has energy field around us. So we have seen or understand how the body works. It's a different way that we, we thought the body is, was working. So the body takes the energy through the skin and breathing. 80% of that energy comes through that field that we have around us, through the skin and through the breathing. And 20% 20, 20 comes through the food we eat. But even that food that we eat, once it comes inside the body and the stomach, it turns into energy. It's not that we absorb the sediment, the, the food that we the food that we have that we ate that will uh, cross the the barriers of the stomach. No, we have proven that that is not the way it is. The body changed that that food to energy and that's we absorb energy. The body has the capacity to change the energy to a physicality state so we can use it if you want to understand more details of this we invite you to become part of the students of cash foundation it's a beautiful way to see this new way of bringing balance to the body we're using the energy to create energy is this technology we, we uh, that we're working on replicates that effect that we see on the sun bringing those elements, but we can add more elements inside this unit to bring into the body and make some same changes. We don't use the word diseases. We use the word imbalance. So the body is in imbalance and then we, that's why we bring balance. We don't call this health uh, uh, um, uh, healing devices. We don't heal anything. As I said, we don't see diseases. We see imbalance in the body, so we create devices to bring balance to the body so the body can change. The body has the capacity to change itself, but we have to give them the right elements to do that. That's why we create different kinds of devices. And a lot of people over the world is making. I myself, I create those. But it doesn't mean that are the only ones. This just at the beginning of this new technology, understanding how the plasma works. And we have seen beautiful uh, results and people call them miracles, but not, they are not miracles. It's just understanding how the body works and how we can bring something around the body and make those changes. We have beautiful people in Cash Foundation, people that can see energy. I said that there's devices that can prove that energy around uh, the body, 
but also there are people that can see energy. And not just people that were uh, born with some gift. They are in a way, but they are able to teach that gift to other people. And people start seeing that energy around objects, around people. And this man, who is in the Cast Foundation now, is, is one of the, the teachers, see this energy. When he sees the, 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 um, the units, he can see the kind of energy make, uh, is made around them. And also, he has seen the energy of the people who come inside the units. How does both energy blend and start changing? So that's also, we learn how much time we have to uh, put people inside those units in order to make those changes. So things to the people understand more how this fields of energy changes. And we have to create different ones, just rings with plasma inside with different plasmas, and also create mixing rings with uh, dynamics reactors. We are learning, we are testing different ways of bringing uh, to create this environment, and we're learning to do one thing and another, and we're accelerating that change. The more we understand, we see those changes in the body. It, as I said, it's not that we have to have this, we have to make this. You can do anything you want. These are different devices that people around the world is creating, are creating, so we can test it and make those changes. And the right size, there's another unit, I call it my, uh, the, uh, my, the one that right there, I create myself as, I think this for me, one of the best way of seeing changes in the people uh, more often in the right way and the right side is another one that I uh, tested and, and different people have different kind of diseases or imbalance and make and see changes, beautiful changes on those people. We all, and we're going to explain a little bit about all this uh, unit, how the body of people use those uh, devices, health devices, and see those changes. And the CAS Foundation, uh, people, they have the units, this, and as I said, many people around the world are making so simple. It's not just, it's not sophisticated to do all this. When you understand the plasma, how the plasma works, you can make your own health unit, create your own environment. You don't have to say, oh, it's complicated. No, you will surprise how people are doing those uh, units. People of the third age, it's incredible when they see, when they, they find, out, find out that they can create anything with their hands and make some changes and see the effect on that is beautiful. So as I said, everyone can make any of those devices. What we understand is once you understand more about how the plasma works as a fields, energy fields interacts with the strong fields, with the weakest fields, so make changes also. How we make those changes, how we bring the balance to the body is create the balance, create the environment so the body absorb those elements and start responding to those elements. It's like a given food or giving gasoline to the car or oil to the car. So we're given the proper elements and the units start working properly. So the same as the, the body. So we create fields that interact with the body and makes those changes. So the same way the body receives energy, the body extracts. They eliminate energy out of the body the same way. If it's not only through the urine or through the yes, uh, the the tools tools that the body eliminates something that doesn't uh, need, but also through that field of energy extract. And this, um, as I said before, this person can see the energy. I've explained how the energy because they see it. How the energy comes out of the body and goes through the earth, to earth, absorb it. Or sometimes we use a different elements like a sea salt uh, to absorb as a gravitational field, uh, uh, abstract the energy out of the body. So we have seen different 
ways of how the, the body works and we're working on that to see those effects. So the other uh, facet of the way we see the, uh, the, uh, uh, the diseases or the imbalance in the body, as I said, is the physicality, emotion, uh, physicality, energy, emotions, and soul. So how the, the, the medical field see that emotions or the, they call them stress or even people, doctor says, 80, uh, 99% of the diseases are psychosomatic. We don't, as a doctors, we never understood properly how, what, why, why we call them psychosomatic. And everything that we tag them as, uh, as that psychosomatic problem as a stress. So stress, hyperactivity of the brain, so we handle it differently. So the way we see it now is uh, we call them emotions. So are different emotions, different emotions, different emotions target different organs. And that's organs. Your body is, you have to understand now how the body works. It's not, we're not physical bodies. We're, and it's hard for the medical field to understand that we are souls having experience in the body. So as a soul, we come to the body to have experience. And so we have working on this body, living on this earth, we have emotions. Through emotions, we change the physicality. So this is a way. So different emotions affect different organs. And that's what we have seen. I've seen people work on the emotions, and I've seen many uh, changes that normally traditional medicine cannot uh, achieve. I've seen with my personal, my own eyes, People here uh, in, the, in the place that I live, people that work on emotion, I've seen people who have diseases or problems, and they can change this in less time than the, than the way we used to, to do that. So I invite you to understand a little bit more about the diseases, as I said, imbalance in the body, why we create that imbalance. So as I said, 95 or 98% of those imbalances make, it's our, the source of that is because some kind of, a, of emotions are involved in it. And as I said, if you wanted to understand a little bit more deeply about how the emotions affect the body, I, I um, invite you to join us as students and the CAS Foundation to understand a little bit more. There's so many uh, uh, studies, uh, there's archives that we can, you can see all the studies that we have seen, we have done to understand how the, the body creates imbalance through emotions. So, and basically we, in order to bring, to, to handle this balance as this imbalance and emotions, is so we're using de devices, breathing devices. This is one, just one example. So there are so many, many um, uh, breathing devices they have, people have developed uh, better and beautiful than this, but uh, it's a different ways to see it. So if we're given the elements on in the body to handle the, the emotion, basically is the CO2 and zinc, that's the main elements that works on the emotions. So if we use them properly, we can handle this emotion. People will, you will see that effect on the body and the person says, yes, now I have emotion, I have problems, but they are, I don't feel they affect me. And they, we can start seeing those effects in the body. If little by little you understand how every single emotions affect certain part of the body, if you, once you are familiar, we become familiar with those emotions, you can help people to address those emotions, to address those problems, and you will see the effect on the body instantly. So as I said, this again, as I said, <coughs> There's so different elements that we use, plasma elements, they will help in, with the different concentration, 20, 80, 50, 50, so different. Once you understand how the body, how the emotions affect, what kind of emotions are affecting, you will handle different concentrations of these elements to give the people those elements in order to handle those emotions. And you will see the effects instantly. When people come and use this technology, says, I don't, I'm not gonna convince you of anything, just test it. As I said to you, test it. Don't close your mind to new ways of bringing balance to the body. Test it. When people come, I said, so do I have to believe? No. I ask you not to believe anything I said. Just come 
and test it, and you see, you feel the effect on your body, and it's incredible. We used to call them miracles, but they actually is understanding how the body works. So giving the elements the proper elements, and it start having those effects instantly. So, in the way we understand now how the, those units, health unit works, is understanding what we are as a souls. Souls that have an experience in the body, physical body. So the, the energy, those um, uh, health units are an extension of your soul. And we explain how that works. You are in a plasma state. As I said, you have energy of every, every single part of your body as your own energy. You are in a plasma state. You are energy field. So interacts. your energy interacts with the energy that you are creating. You feel, you feel changes according to the emotions as i said before and i show you some photos of those energy the colors of the energy so changes according to that your energy field interacts with energy of the gans once you create gans you put them inside the, the these units and you if you are created you have intention you have strong field that Strong field affects the weakest field. If you have a strong field, you have a strong desire or create something beautiful for humanity, it has a strong effect. And we, that's what we have seen when you create those uh, health units. So when you as a, as a field, as a person who creates as energy and you create another uh, energy um, source of energy like the, this units, you blend each other. You blend and create one field, interacting with the uh, uh, person. You, your, uh, your. When you create that, you put your energy inside and you interact with the field of this person. And as I said, when you understand how the body, how the plasma works, is the stronger changes the weaker. So that's what we see. That's why we see effects on the body. When somebody has an imbalance in the body, that because this is. It's in a weak, it's, it's weak, it's uh, not strong. That's why they created some kind of imbalance of those diseases. So we're given a strong field and we can change those. The, same, the way I see this is the, the healer has intention, has love. When have that, that's what we are seeing. What, as I said before, those person who can see the energy, when the people have a strong will to make changes, to have intention, to have love, that field changes and they can see that energy, energy is so strong and how the energy when they are close to another body changes. I remember when the first day that I went to the medical school and the doctor said, the professor said, you will see those people who come to you as a patient with pain and as soon as it got in front of you, they don't have pain because they believe in you in a way. But now understand different. What happened is, we as a healers, we have a strong will to help people. So we create that field around us, that very strong field. And those people who have diseases, those people who have imbalance in the body, that's a weaker, a weaker field. They are suffering in a way. So when they come close to you, interact that energy of that person within, with the energy of yourself that have that intentions to change it and that's why they change it yes in a way it is they 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 believe so they when they have that beliefs they attract that energy they decide to have those changes and they wanted to interact with you and that's when they see that sh those changes more rapidly so that's the way it's a different way to see the whole world it's not just as i said physicality it's a different world of energy that we can make any changes instantly. In the soul level balance, one day I asked Mr. Kesh, now they understand. Mr. Kesh has uh, taught us a lot about the soul, and I myself, I've been working on that soul level and for my, all my life, understanding what we are as a soul uh, entities as uh, so I asked Mr. Cash one day it says to obtain the change or eliminate the disease rather than being in a plasma field there must be a contact and desire of the soul of the healer and the soul 
of the one who suffers from the disease and want to change? If, if so, could you guide me on how to achieve that contact or communication with the patient's soul? And it's beautiful to, to talk to Mr. K, so we he explained. It's a little, uh, a little difficult to understand, but once you uh, meditate and, and read over and over and over again his words, you understand, him, and that's when we start seeing those miracles. Beautiful. So now he responds, in English, there's one word of it, trust. Trust of the healer that I can accept without harming myself. Trust of the patient that with that I give, I do not harm the healer. You should understand one point in the realm of creation. One never harms. So it is not as I, call, as I can heal. It's so much the patient's soul draws that I cannot harm my healer and healer accepting my fields that by him getting rid of the illness. The energy does not harm me as a healer. This is the secret of the universal healing. Then this needs a new wisdom of thoughts. Early doctors, earthly doctors, just pass the problem to another point. Universal healers Stay for, for good for a lifetime as they have and build a trust in themselves that they can hold or dispose of fields in a safe manner to universal fields. Then you understand a new dimension. This is the capacity to be the everlasting and the soul of creator. This is the way of thought and experience, but we always think that there is something more complicated. I, that's, I respond to, to Mr. Cash. It's just, no, it's the simplicity of this is the beauty of it. But understanding the process of it is a real realm of soul and being large enough to accept it from all is the key to it. In present life, we take a tumor and dispose of it and that is done. At the soul level, you have to understand what to give. It's a gift to the soul that gives you the life of the tumor, to hold and not to destroy what he has made. That is a transfer of soul of the tumor and not the physicality of the tumor. Needs a deep understanding. A wise doctor of universe, does a good job when only builds a full spectrum of strength of the soul of himself. Then when the next patient comes, now the soul, he has the bank of souls that he can ask for, the, for to be given to the next patient. From this bank that shows the patient that I can handle you, your soul problem, as I have seen in, the, in my possession, and cannot harm myself. I have thought this in a realm of the captain of the spaceship, but there's no difference between the captain of the ship or a doctor. Trust is not harming themselves, it's accepting new souls that is. And that is so, it's a lot to complicate. This beautiful teaching that I have in Mr. Gage, and it took me a while to understand. But once you understand and apply this knowledge, as I said, you see those miracles you used to have. So miracles, then you can have them. Everyone can have it. You don't have to be special. Actually, all of you are special. Nobody is better than anybody. Nobody is less than anybody. We are all equals. But once we understand this process, we can make those changes. And once you understand that, help people to understand. That's the only way we're going to make change in the world. Only when I talk to, when I talk to people, 
or teach people about Bhante Samaj, you only have ask you one condition when they come to these lectures. Whatever you learn, spread that information to other people, your family, your friends, your neighbors. That's the only way we can have a unique world full of love, full of understanding, that we are equals. It doesn't matter what color, what shape, what form or body we have. We are all the same. So now we have the protocol, plasma protocol for create that balance. So we develop breathing devices as, you, as I saw before, the health unit to create balance, to create an environment in order to give the people those elements that they need. And also we have to target the organ with the specific GANSA patches. So we create an uh, environment, but sometimes you need a specific elements in certain organs. So we create patches with that element that we create GANS or plasma or those elements the body needs in order to create another extra feel around that organ. And we have seen those changes. Taking advantage of that energy field that we have around us. So, so we drink the plasma water, not the GANS, but the plasma water, the CO2, seeing and CO3 to make changes in the body to help us. So, in another uh, one of the um, advices that we have is not to give CS3 in any of uh, persons who have diseases. So now I'm going to show you some of the cases that we, as a students, plasma students, plasma um, workers, that we have had and personal us some of those patients, the persons uh, or person who have this uh, imbalance. I haven't. So this is the, the result that we have had. First, we have a, a person with breast cancer. This person is a th three years old female. Province is a left breast, less left breast lower inner quadrant with a, um, a tumor with a core biopsy resource invasive ductal carcinoma nuclear gra uh, grade three. So this is some of the uh, photos of the patient who came for the first time with the biopsy. After the biopsy started, um, uh, one week after the biopsy, the breast started growing. So it seems that it had infection. The person was put on an antibiotic for three weeks, but it, she didn't respond. So she, the person refused to do surgery and chemotherapy and choose alternative met methods of treatment. So as I said, we don't treat anything. We don't just give them the elements that the body needs, just bring balance and see what happened. So in this case, the patient, this person, when he, come, when he came, he came with no energy, high fever, pain on her left uh, breast, and sleepless nights. So as I said, you can test it, you can come, you see, she used this uh, device. So she came into the device, she spent an hour, and after the hour, she's starting to see effects. For the first time, the pain disappeared in that moment, started to feel better, and she was able to, to sleep that night. So she decided to continue with this technology. So for the first the protocol to, that we follow for, with every person who have cancer, so we have to analyze the, the emotion problems. So we have understand that uh, when people have a breast uh, tumor, so breast uh, issues, we see that the left sides are emotions involved with the mother or child issues. The right side is involved with the partner of the uh, lover issues. The step two are to understand how the tumors is. We have seen that the cancer inside the cancer is uh, some kind of metal symbol. We have seen the person who cancer says that runs out of the energy. Why? Because something has to be inside the tumor that extract, that absorb, that bring, that takes all the energy of the body. So that's what we see in people. People run out of energy. That's why we die. They die. So we have to find out what kind of metals are involved in, in 
person who has cancer. So we make a blood test or hair test, and we try to find what metal is higher than the person. And we pick that metal that is higher, so that means that that is the one who's causing the problems. We create GANs, we create plasma of that, and we create fields of using those metals energy in order to extract the energy out of that seed of that tumor. And that tumor starts shrinking, disappearing. And to create, we put them on those health unit and also create those patches uh, with, as, as we understand, the, the strong plasma feeds this weaker, so it creates a loop in between those elements. So if a person has a cancer, it has a certain energy. So we create a stronger energy from one side and a weaker energy on the other side. So it creates a loop in between those uh, patches or those uh, fields and extract the energy of the, of the tumor and the tumor start shrinking, as I say, start disappearing. At the beginning, as a doctor, I started to see this. I, yes, I had so many doubts, but just have, as I said, just trust, trust, see what's happening in a person. And we have seen those changes as I'm going to show you some photos of, to the evolution of this person who had these tumors. So sometimes if the breast is too small, you know, they have a, the tumor, you place the, the stronger field on her on the back and the weakest on the front of the person or the, or the chest or in front of uh, the area that is affected. So this is the evolution. As I said, this person had infection, so it was strongly, it was uh, making a lot of destruction inside the breast. And when I saw it, as I said, when I saw this case, I thought, oh, it's getting worse and worse. But the people, it, it was looking, I mean, the way I see it is, is getting worse, but the person started feeling better and better. So the opposite. So I continue with this uh, field to bring this field around the body. And what I started seeing that some pieces of that tumor starting to come up, coming off the, the, the part, the person was just like rejecting the tumors out of the body. So they started to change, and suddenly their, their breast starting to die. That tissue starting to die. And, and as I experienced, I started to this unit for two months, started the last unit, and then I built a different unit. So I started putting her, uh, this person inside for another month, and that's what we see that saw so this result. The train totally trained. So that tumor that was so huge, so incredible, so big, and they shrink you for that little one. So, and then we decide to have a biopsy to see if it's to prove that this really uh, technology works. So, and the breast biopsy, uh, the reports came that there was a fibroconnective tissue with extensive qualitative necrosis. In common section of the mass needle. Core biopsy shows granulation tissue associated with extensive qualitative and calcification, which is highly suspicious for tumor necrosis. The adjacent viable tissue shows granulation tissue, stroma fibrosis in collection of histocytes and mix of chronic inflammatory cells. No evidence of viable tumor on the current biopsy. I was surprised and was so happy to see those results. So this is another case study. It's a person, male, 59 year old, with a problem. He started nine years ago with tremors, right hand, and almost, and now to almost all the body. He stopped driving seven years ago. He started using diapers four years ago because he cannot control the sphincters. So uh, that was diagnosed with uh, Parkinson. It's a terrible disease we've seen in people. So we have to understand, um, the emotions, everything, and this person, I'm not going to go into details about this emotion problems, but I decided to to put this person in this unit. We created this unit. He had it in the home, and he uses the unit for an hour a day. Drink plasma water, CH3, 20 milliliters, CO2, 20 milliliters, and, C and zinc, 20 milliliters, three times a day. He had a breathing device, 50% of CO2 and 50% of zinc. Two months later, he started to drive and no longer used 
uses diapers. Most of the trainers disappear. But 80% is that he estimate that. This is a personal estimate. He says, I, I think 80% of the trimmers disappear in two months. The most important, as I see this, he, was, he has his life back. They will see that result instantly. He started to feel better and see the effects of that. Just standing inside, not taking any medicine, just drinking plasma because there's elements that the body needs. Just give them the elements the body needs to respond, breathing those elements, and create environment. So we use different, all the sources that the person takes the, the, the energy through the stomach, through the uh, breathing, and through the skin. And you can start seeing those changes. Now the case of a person male, 70 years old, 72 years old, the problem is two years ago, he started to have heart failure and pulmonary edema. The medical history, in 2015, the right hip was replaced. In 2017, second time, the hip was replaced. And he started to have those problems. And diagnosed with amyloidosis. As we understand, in the medical field, amyloidosis is an abnormal protein that is usually produced in your bone marrow and can be deposited in any tissue or organ. And if it builds up in your organ, you might develop a disease called amyloidosis, causing organ dysfunction. In order to make a, a, a diagnosis of this, you ask for electrophoresis or, or biopsy of tissue, electrophoresis in the blood and tissue, and you find those uh, uh, proteins are uh, higher. But the way we understand, we see the body. So what happened is, once you understand how the body works, how the, the body creates everything, everything to defend themselves, to immune system, it's totally different the way we are going to handle those diseases. So we have to understand that the, the bones, especially the femur, is incredible uh, fabric of immune system, immune defense. So what happened is, once the lymph comes inside the bone and the amino acids, it creates, it's a fabric inside the bones. The bone marrow creates those proteins. And it's uh, once it created on the top of the, uh, of, of the trochanter or the head of the, uh, or the epiphysis or that part of the, the bones, that created those proteins, releases to the organ, to the body, and defends themselves. But what happened, well, those people that they caught that part of the, the, the femur, we caught the production of that elements of those proteins. So the body cannot defend itself against any diseases. And what happened, instead of uh, uh, creating uh, a different uh, protein, what happened is it's an it's a immature protein that affects those organs because we remove that part of the fabric that it was in the body. So it's a different way to understand how the body, how the bone are, how the, the uh, all the bones works and how those um, affects the, uh, the rest of the organs. So the way we handle this is to understand, first, understanding the emotional problems. So these people, so we have to talk to them once you understand, and it's easy when they understand the problem and they face them, they accept them, they start to see those changes in the body. So he promised to indicate a life with anger in great frustration, a suppressed childhood with fear of making decisions, feeling ashamed and fighting to be respected in a controlling, suppressed and dominating environment. So when they have that issues, they violate those problems on the hips. So we create that uh, um, breathing device with those elements in order to bring balance to an emotional level. But also, we have to talk to the organ that is involved, as I said before. In this case, a particular case, it was, uh, uh, it didn't have, didn't have the health unit. So we, so as we understand what happened in the bone, so we had to create that uh, 
the part of the help that part of the uh, organ that is being extracted, being removed, that part of the fabric that's removed. So we have to help the rest of the bone to create that protein to to mature that protein and help the people. So we create those kinds of patches with those uh, uh, GANs, create that environments, and this is the way we put the we create the patches one side and the other of the femur, and that's the way they they wear them. They have because the problem is permanent. They they uh, remove that part of the organ, as I said, the part of the femur. They have to use those patches the whole life, but we have to change it uh, periodically because those changes does want to use plasma. There's a time that it creates a, a balance between the patches and the and the body, so no longer affects, no longer has the, the same effect. So we have to change this every because in these cases we put GANs, we can change it every three or four months, and and we see the effects immediately. So also this person who had the problem in the heart, we create the GANs, understanding the elements that are involved in the heart, so we create those elements. We put those in the patches, we put on the front and back of the heart, and they wear it like this, and that's it. We don't have to keep in uh, medicine. And because also we're trying to that the fact the fat acids in the in the body, so just give them uh, butter, 50 milligrams a daily or night to have the balance in the body. So so the way, as I said before, we create environment. An environment is the body can uh, uh, um, abstract those elements from that environment and make those changes. We don't heal anything. We don't treat anything. Just give in the elements. We create an environment so the body look for that balance and see those changes. And most of the people with these problems uh, starting as might have a uh, kidney problems, so we had to control with an MRI the functionality of how the the the, uh, uh, the um, kidney is uh, working. As soon as he start having problems, we create those patches and put them in, also on the in the level and start responding. So uh, this person, I've been in contact with the family of this after four weeks of working on this balance. The, what happened is diminishes of shortness of breath breathing. Generally, there's an improvement in taking less medications. The opposite, as we see in the traditional medicine, they have been they have given they have to give a lot of medication the whole life. So in these cases, because he's using those elements, we give them those elements that the body needs. He needs less and less medications because he's helping those elements. The body is responding because we understand. We're helping the femur to create that protein, become the protein better, natural. So it's not working. And that blood that we use that, and to understand a little bit, there's some different ways to, to, to treat this, uh, not to treat, to, to get rid of those proteins. Those proteins that went through that organ that is affecting, as I said, is energy. So if that energy is in that organ, call them heart, Call them lungs, call them liver, whatever, or kidneys. That's a, a energy of those proteins. So we create the different energy fields to extract that energy and no longer affect the body. So it's no longer affecting the body. The body's responding. And then we give in the protein that the body needs in order to respond to anything and start it to feel better. So easy, just bring balance to the body. So we have another case study. This is Alzheimer. We have had beautiful experiences with people with Alzheimer. This person is a female, 85 years old, diagnosed 10 years with Alzheimer's. In the last nine months, it's, it's in a vegetative state. It's, it doesn't talk, it doesn't walk, it doesn't blink. It's feeding through the nasal gastric tube. And she's 100% assisted by nurses. This person is like just lying down in the bed without blinking, no movements, nothing, just being there for the last nine months. So, and the success you know, didn't have any response to the traditional medication, just being alive, but with no response, no interaction with the environment, nothing. So, this person, the family called, they see if we can see something. And 
And when we start doing this technology, we didn't know how to do it a lot, but understanding balance, 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 not treatment, not not to see or have to treat. treat. When we understand what's going on, we, we understand the emotional problems involved in Alzheimer is emotions. And those emotions, people that are, are not, uh, they're not, they don't want, they, most of the people that have uh, Alzheimer's people that move from one place to another, one city to another, one country to another, uh, one house to another, and they don't like that place. They miss the other place, the other uh, city, the other uh, environment, or the uh, because there are uh, the whole life that were in that environment that they missed it and they blocked it subconsciously. Subconsciously, they block themselves. They don't want to leave in that place they're living now in the brain is starting to die. You see, if you see the, have the MRI, the block spots, they're growing inside the, uh, the, uh, the brain because the brain uh, tissue is dying. And see, we're understanding brain tissue elements so we create those elements that the body needs and respond. So I started as, um, as I said, the person that one of the nurses that was taking care of this person says, hey, can you do something? Okay, let's try to this. I have seen this person, but I gave him the patient to see. Just see. So he drank the water, and one hour later, she, after she drank that water, she started talking. Nine months without talking anything. After that, she, for us, opened a new door to to bring more to this uh, uh, to this person in condition. So I create a helmet, the helmet with zinc and CO2. And where? Because it was it was impossible to put him in the health unit, because he was lying for months and was able wasn't able to 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 drive to walk anything. So we bring those stuff to their uh, home and start using those devices. We create uh, pens with uh, different kinds of gans, uh, CO2 and no, I mean uh, CH3 and lead. So. Lead is, is, is a gravitational, it takes energy. C3 gives energy. When the energy comes to one hand, it runs through the whole body. It creates something like a, when it's Alzheimer, those people, with Parkinson, they have like, a, they call it like a short circuit. So we want to balance that energy going through the body. So when they hold those pins, they feel the energy in the body and they love it. This person, they would start using those uh, pins and they want to get rid of them. They wanted to hold it all the time because in a way, in his uh, state of not being aware of the environment, but when she started holding the spin, she started feeling the effect on the body. She started, she started to like to use it. And also, we used uh, different elements like calcium, potassium, zinc, magnesium, and folic acid. We give in a different doses, a high doses, to bring balance and, and different levels of the body. But I have tested, so you can give in, you can take in the pills, as I said, inside the body, with changes to the as energy field. But um, also we give in to drink those uh, uh, water, CO2, zinc, in the morning, a lunch and dinner. And three months later, person start walking, start feeding themselves. And he, she, I put that spelling word, spelling, she liked to spelling word, spelling words because she didn't have that skill before. She said, uh, the family says, she didn't have whatever uh, letter or word you gave her, she spelled instantly, <laughs> incredible speed. As I said, it's a, she's responding and the family that starts seeing her uh, walking, watching TV, and feeding themselves is a crude improvement. So we still working on her and improving little by little. And there's another person with Alzheimer, 72 years old, five years in a state of coma, stayed on in this state, but the, the husband loved her so much that he said, I'm not gonna give her, give up. I love her so much that I wanted to do anything I want. So he was, he heard about this technology, he called us and he we sent in a, a unit and he started using um, the unit he fed through, through the gastrostomy. So he's starting to use this unit and using those elements instead of giving give her uh, those uh, elements like magnesium, calcium, potassium, folic acid, uh, and <laughs> instead of giving her, we create plasma of that and I put them 
inside those poles, dynamic reactors, and create an environment, create a plasma environment. So we put the person inside and it's starting to have that effect. When she started to, to put him in, to put her inside the unit was difficult because she's been lying down for many years, even though they have a, a person, a physiotherapist who comes every other day to exercise, or to do some exercise for a person not to get stiff. So they have a little difficult to put them on a, on a wheelchair and put them inside the unit. In the beginning, they only were able to put her for 20 minutes a day. I ask them if they can put her for an hour, three times a day. After two weeks, they started to put her two hour, uh, one hour, three times a day. And also we gave them to, because she was, can swallow, so we in, put her with a syringe a little bit of zinc plasma water in the mouth and it turned to energy to plasma and it started to fit and it sprayed the zinc plasma water on her scalp every night. Four weeks, he started to move. In six weeks, she opened her eyes. I remember they, the day when this uh, her husband called me, he was crying and I was surprised what happened. He says, she opened her eyes for the first time after five years. And now she's, uh, responding she started to move she helped them to move her and be inside the unit so she responded we started uh, six weeks ago i just made this uh, seven weeks ago i started to to help these people to create this balance in this uh, to this person is so that's what you change it so another case is uh fibromyalgia this is very common as a doctor before, I never saw this so many diseases that I'm oh, not used to. The fibromyalgia is a disease. Also, oh, the disease or problem is it's a, a lot of imbalance in the body, emotional part of it, or emotional imbalance. But we create imbalance, and the body creates a lot of pain. They block themselves, to not be able to to do anything. So, the best way I we built this uh, unit, I sent it to home, and she started to drink plasma water, CH3, CO2, and, and zinc oxide. So she started to drink. And the best way, I think, to describe the evolution of this patient is to write down the same testimony. She sent me this testimony. She um, emailed me all the changes. So I'm going to read a little bit. That was going to be the last. I know to, to have another one. So this person says, symptoms I had in mid-2016 and how they are, have disappeared or improved markedly, markedly November 29, 2017. I did not walk all, at all. They moved me with a wheelchair. I already walked with someone. I moved quite well. I, do not, I did not move in bed. Now I move. I could not stand up from the chair alone. Now I do it 10 times in a row. I got up to urinate up to nine times during the night. Now I sleep almost always. Urinated in a trickle, now normal urinate. She, I mean, sorry. I was scared to go out with, with a car because of the fear of urinating. It disappeared. I ate almost nothing. Now I ate great variety of food. I did not digest food well. Did not erupt or gas patches. Now my digestion is normal. I had difficulties to evacuate. Now I evacuate almost every day. I could not fall asleep. I fall asleep easily every night. When I finally slept, I slept 11 hours. Now I have seven to eight hours. I was depressed and panicked at that time. Now I lie down peacefully and I fall asleep. I woke up. I down for hours, not sleep for three of hours, almost every day. I did not get up from the bed alone. Now I get up alone and I dress alone and I move with a wheelchair with a chair. And many times I already travel a certain distance alone. For months I did not want to leave the house. I got out quite often. I had neither the desire nor the energy to talk to people. It disappeared. I did not have equilibrium. Now I keep myself only for a while now. I did not do any kind of exercise. Now I do have and I have an hour three times a week. They had a bad knee. They had to bat me. Now I bat alone. 
I have pains all over my body of, of all kinds. They are just decreasing. Traveling in the lake, dropping, disappear. Intense calling constantly, disappear. Changes in skin temperature, they are decreasing. Large blue pimples disappeared. Areas of the whole forehead that peel the skin, now it's healthy. Areas of each end of the body disappeared. Tearful eyes, they are diminishing. Pain in the arms also diminishing. Very intense back pain decreasing. Tight feeling under the breast decreasing. Sensation of nausea improving. Tremors of the left arm improving. Lack of coordination on the left side of my body improving. No desire to work improving. And this is the uh, different effects of uh, um, electromagnetic frequency. They have a different, uh, every one of the electrical devices, computers, uh, watchers, uh, TV, everything they have was affected. Now, all that is diminished. It just feels a lot different. If it can be anywhere, any uh, in front of any devices, no longer a factor of but it felt started to feel better. So I think is the 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 best way to understand how the people worked of feeling with this energy, just having the energy, given the elements the body needs, just that, and starting to feel effects for many years suffering this disease, not having any improvement after that, she's happy using this. So I have another person with uh, lymphoma, this is the last case. It's a female, seven years old, multi enhancing lesions of thoracic spine with a large, largest center of T8 and T10 and 11, extending into the spinal canal with severe spinal cord compression. With letter, surgical procedure, posterior thoracic T8, T11, laminectomy with removal of intra, intraspinal lesion. Final diagnosis, epidural thoracic lymphoma embedding bone and, and marrows moral space. Okay. Three weeks later, they scanned it and they found out they, this, that disease was spread or having metastasis in different parts of the body. And she went through almost five months, it was some chemotherapy and she came to me without, uh, with a, a node in the right hip, a lot of pain. He was using a, a walker, using a treadmill because she can walk, she had the uh, a numbness on their um, lower legs because of compression of the all the tumors, all the problems in the body. It was uh, in another, uh, no, no, it was no desire to walk, a lot of pain, no energy, and it was helping, help, asking for help. So, uh, and when she had uh, the chemo, she had uh, severe uh, side effects, vomiting, pain, headaches her loss, the same effect that we used to see in those people. So she came and started using, we made a blood test and we saw, found out that the calcium was higher. So we create patches with this uh, calcium uh, uh, plasma and we place this in every part she has metastasis of that tumor. And she was, she was spent one hour, two times a day for six weeks inside the machine. And after th um, when she was uh, in the fifth, fifth week of uh, uh, using this machine, that's when I had a talk to Mr. Cash, the conversation about working on the soul level of the person. So he taught me this, Mr. Cash, wonderfully. It's beautiful that way he explained, as I said, he taught me how to handle, uh, make me understand how to work on the soul level. And, and it was incredible because at that time, five weeks, she still had that nose, she still has a little pain and it was um, scared because she was scheduled in 10 days to do another scan. And so I started to work on the soul level and it was a beautiful experience that day. I never forgot that experience that I have with this person. Spending not uh, of that person for, on myself, I have incredible um, changes in my body understanding how the, the energy of that person uh, 
has to come out and handle that energy. This is beautiful. It's hard to believe, but I'm a scientist, I'm a doctor, and it's incredible what happens. So I said, okay, I think it's done. Let's see what happened. Three days later, she went to make the, uh, the scan. And again, another person who called me, and that was resolved. Complete metabolic response with the resolution of the site, metabolic activity of the sites of the metabolic active lymphoma. There's no trace of cancer anywhere. And the few days later, she had that note, still had notes. It had metastasis in the, in the uh, jaw and the saliva, saliva glands. And, and it was incredible, beautiful effect when I worked on that. And I, I am learning, I'm still working with different people. I'm having incredible results working at that level, as I said. There's a different way of handle those problems, those um, diseases that we call them, or we call imbalance in the body. So you understand that level. As I said before, there's a different levels, physicality, energy, emotions, and the soul. So that's it. Thank you so much. I will stop sharing. And... Continue with you, with you, Mr. Cash, and thank you so much for allowing me to express myself about this experience that we have had. Thank you.